The most memorable Ryder Cup moment uh, for me was Justin Leonard sinking the monster putt at the 17th hole at the Country Club in 1999. They started the day down 10 to 6. He had put on this tremendous comeback and he needed to pull out another point to help the whole United States team pull off this miraculous comeback. Very difficult putt, rams it in, the place goes crazy, perhaps a little too crazy. You had players, caddies, wives, captains all running onto the green. I had feigned illness to stay home and watch the Ryder Cup. Sometimes a pivotal moment in the Ryder Cup is not a good shot. One such example is Hunter Mahan at the 2010 Ryder Cup at uh, Celtic Manor. He's on the 17th hole in a, a really tough match against Graham McDowell, and the whole Ryder Cup is still on the line. Infamously chunks a chip shot, leading to a bogey and a loss in, in what ended the Ryder Cup and ended the U.S. chances. We saw the emotion spill over through him when he cried at the press conference. 1991 at Kiowa Island, the pressure was probably at an all-time high. You know, it was dubbed the war by the shore, and Mark Kalkovecki jumps out to a five-up lead in his match, and it starts bleeding away, bleeding away, bleeding away, and then he comes to 17, and he literally shanks his shot in the water. Went on the beach afterward and wept, even though the team ended up winning, but fact is, it was one of the bigger chokes we've seen. One of my favorite shots in the history of the Ryder Cup was at Oak Hill where you had the crucial match with Nick Faldo and Curtis Strange. And everybody talks about Curtis Strange collapsing down the stretch, but what they don't always remember as well is Nick Faldo on the 18th hole essentially having to lay up on a par four and then wedge it close and make the putt to win the hole. Lanny Watkins wedge on the last hole on the par 5 18th of PJ National in 1983. Produced a great moment. Watkins jams it in there to a couple of feet. Jack Nicklaus, the captain, who's known for being kind of stoic, he rushes out, grabs the divot, and gives it a little kiss. Bernard Longer's putt at 91 at, at Kiowa on the last hole, on the last green, in the last match, the last stroke of the tournament. That's the iconic moment of the Ryder Cup. He missed the six-footer, huge putt. You'd think it would have broken him. You'd think it might even have broken Europe. Because I think at that moment is when the Ryder Cup really got big.